Good afternoon, everybody. This is Jeff J. Brown, China Rising Radio, Sign the Land, Shenzhen, just south of the dropping of Gansar. Astute observers who have watched more than this podcast video may notice that my head is in a different position relative to the background. Well, this weekend, my wife, who has been on a feng shui <laughs> tear in our apartment, um, insisted that I move my desk from this desk <coughs> one meter over here to one meter over here, which is okay because actually it's working out. One feng shui is wonderful. Now I no longer have to take the Cultural Revolution poster down off the wall, move the chair. My head is right between the chair and the wall and the and the beautiful Cambodian hanging in the back and the bamboo and the vase. So I'm all set. All right. With my continued, um, whatever it is I'm allergic to now, uh, this spring, I'm just, I'm just drinking hot water to try to salve my throat. This is a fun one, and it's going to be going to get bigger and better. China Tech, Invention, Innovation, Technology, Research and Development, Past, Present, Future, 5,000 Years of Progress. It's a China Rising Radio Sinoland living document. And, of course, there's a database with tons of links, so you'll need to make sure you get to YouTube, my YouTube channel, SoundCloud channel, or my uh, column on uh, chinarising.puntopress.com to get all the goodies. <coughs> Note, before starting, I'd like to recognize Godfrey Roberts, who sent me his similar China Tech file, we help each other a lot in our research, and this is a good example. A number of hyperlinks in the <coughs> in the data database below are from him. I combined his and mine and alphabetized everything for ease of searching. So here we go. Welcome to China Rising Radio Sinoland's China Tech Invention, Innovation, Technology, Research and Development. Past, present, future, 5,000 years of progress, a China Rising Radio Sino Land a living document. It will be kept at the top of my column page and regularly updated with fresh hyperlinks. Many people around the world do not realize that China Tech has been <coughs> on the march for 5,000 years. Many people still harbor images of China's Century of Humiliation, 1839 to 1949, as a technological point of reference when Western and then Chinese parasitic colonialists suck this country's people and their resources dry with illegal drugs, expropriation, exploitation, and war. This was China's nadir, 110 years out of five millennia of progress. Except for those 110 years, the reality is that China has been the world's innovation leader for most of written history. Please listen to my 600 years podcast below and study the bilingual table I created based on Robert Temple's work cited just after that. You can even print out the table on nine sheets of A3 or A4 paper if you'd like, suitable for framing. It's no contest. The West got at least 60% of its Renaissance, Age of Discovery, and Enlightenment innovations directly from previously innovated and invented Chinese technology. Non-Westerners have been brainwashed into thinking that China's Mao era, 1949 to 1978, was a black hole for R&D innovation and invention. Nothing could be further from the truth. As explained in book number three of the China Trilogy, 
called China is Communist, Damn It, Dawn of the Red Dynasty. The Mao era was one of China's greatest bursts of technological advancement and innovation. Sadly, in the West, it must be denied and censored because nothing positive about communism and socialism can be acknowledged due to capitalist zealotry and ideological fear. Communism, socialism must be E-V-I-L, evil and unworkable, period, regardless of reality and the truth. Besides Pavlovian, Pavlovian <laughs> brainwashing about communism, socialism, Western denial of China's achievements is equally based on the crudest notions of racial superiority going back millennia. This racism is why the West will never accept the fact that the Chinese explored the Americas, Africa, Australia, Oceania, and New Zealand long before rapacious European pirates fanned out on the high seas in the late 15th century. Unlike Chinese explorers on missions of trade and diplomacy, these European psychopaths were anything but, quote, noble explorers. No, they were genocidal locusts exterminating and stealing everything in their paths. See book number three of my trilogy for all the gripping, gory details. Gavin Menzies books, 1421, the, China, the Year China Discovered America, and 1434, The Year a Magnificent Chinese Fleet Sailed to Italy and Ignited the Renaissance, are proof positive that the Chinese were sailing all over the world way before any Europeans. While 1434 is a little more, bit more speculative, his years of research are incontrovertible with physical carbon-14 dated and DNA evidence all over the Americas, plus 15th to 16th century European documentation. World history needs to be truthfully retold, and of course Westerners are trying to deny it like hell. The hollow myths of racial superiority and exceptionalism must not die. Baba Beijing realizes just how explosive and disruptive this historical truth is, even to the point of teaching the Western exploration myths in its school curriculum. The last thing China wants to do right now is rub the West's collective nose in historical veracity. But one day there will be a tipping point and both Western and Chinese history and textbooks will be correctly rewritten. Section number one, historical background. And the podcast I did, the Chinese haven't invented anything in the last 600 years, right? China Rising Radio Sinoland podcast by Jeff J. Brown. Next, table of time lags between Chinese innovations and discoveries and their later ad uh, adoption or recognition in the West. It's bilingual in Chinese. The PDF file is right there. Section number two, recommended historical reading. There's a whole list of uh, hyperlinks to um, take a look at. Section number three, China Tech News on China Rising Radio Sinoland. As you may guess and probably have listened to on my podcast and read on my website, I have actually done quite a bit of writing about China's uh, technology developments and uh, advancements. And listed here are the hyperlinks uh, of the ones that I have done recently. The database. For the database below, use word search. By the way, that is actually section four, excuse me. For the database below, use word search, usually control plus F, to find your favorite topics of interest below. To be consistent, I am trying to arrange them in the way we say the terms, meaning adjectives may come before the target noun. Thus, I list electric airplanes, not airplanes, comma, electric. 
In any case, using word search makes it easy. Up to now, with Godfrey's and my links mixed together, some are not in chronological order. From here on out, the most recent entry will be the last one under each topic. If you find a bad link or want to add China Tech news to this data bank, please contact me. And there's all my contact information, Twitter, Facebook, email, telephone, WeChat, WhatsApp, you name it, it's there. All right, that's it. Enjoy this amazing um, uh, reference. I think it will be extremely popular and continue to grow uh, with uh, the times, grow with the news, and grow with China's amazing technological development uh, in the 21st century. This is Jeff J. Brown signing out. China Rising Radio Sign and have a wonderful evening. Goodbye.